Good morning, everybody. Helps if you push the record button. Uh, here we are on Thursday. It uh, looks like a beautiful day out. A uh, bit cooler than usual. Kind of nice. And um, I'm in a bit of a hurry. I ran out a hamburger yesterday and have to run out and get it before we, we open. So uh, as, as we're reading through Jeremiah today, um, uh, we... we 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 see that he continues to to give the prophecies for the for the various countries, and um, a number of them I don't know if you notice or not. A number of them received the same promise that that Israel received, that uh, when the time of correction was over, he was going to bring them back. Um, so it wasn't just Israel who had received this, but many of the surrounding nations also received it. That once this time of correction was over, he would bring them back and repopulate the land. Uh, again with them. Um, Babylon was raised up by the Lord to be used as, as an instrument of correction. Just as he had used Israel uh, on a smaller scale uh, with uh, some select nations and they came in and they, they, uh, they had to uh, destroy the, those, those specific nations that God had told them to destroy. Um, they weren't very good at it. And because of it, uh, they had lots of problems in their future. Uh, now he was using Babylon on a much larger scale to bring correction to, to other nations. These are nations that he loved and cherished and cared for, um, that Israel had been raised up to, to demonstrate him to them. And uh, so this was just a, a time of, of correction, and Babylon was that instrument. But Babylon was a, a vicious, absolutely vicious. Um, there's not too many um, conquering nations that we know of that go in and actually deport all of the citizens of that country to another area. It makes sense. Uh, get people in balance so they can't rebel. Uh, put them in unfamiliar territory. Uh, get rid of their infrastructure. And man, if you're if you were a conquering nation, that 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 would make sense. But the the um, the effort that would take is incredible. And so Babylon wasn't just um, conquering these nations. They, they were absolutely taking them over and, and, and managing them. And, uh, and they were vicious. They, they killed huge parts of the population. And um, Nebuchadnezzar is thought to be one of the most evil rulers that ever existed. And, and so we find that the God says, when your time's over... Man, I'm, I'm getting rid of you. I'm destroying you. I'm absolutely wiping you off the, the face of the earth. Nobody, in fact, I'm going to do what I did to Sodom and Gomorrah. Nobody will live in your land again. It will be desert. I will make it desert. Wow. <laughs> Listen, we may be in control of our lives. We, we, may, we may have control of, of, of what we think. Uh, of what we say, of what we do, of what we feel. These, these are ours. Nobody, nobody can make us feel a certain way. Nobody can make us think a certain way. We're, we're in control. Uh, but don't ever forget that God is in charge. He is in charge. Uh, he raises governments up and he lowers them down. He, uh, every authority that is in place has his stamp on them. That's, that's what the, the word says. And that's why we are supposed to honor that authority, whether we agree with it or not. But God is in charge. He's in charge. Well, when we talk about the control, don't think for a moment that, that God is, is not in charge because he is in charge. It just we're in control of our part in, in that. And um, obviously, we, we, want to, uh, we want to bend that control to him. We want, we want him. Um, he, he won't be in control of us because he wants our, us to be free so that we have our choices. But we, we bend our, our will to him. We, we, we submit ourselves to him. We submit ourselves to the king. We, we submit ourselves to the father. We submit ourselves. And uh, we, that's, that's what he desires of us, is that, that free will offering, that, that love offering that we bring to him. So it's good to know. You're, you're in control. You decide today. If you're going to praise him, you decide today. If you're going to spend time with him, you decide these things. There's no excuses. Uh, it's, it's, it might require sacrifice, but you're in control of that. 
But when it comes to your day, he's in charge. He's in charge. He's in charge of the resources. He's in charge of the protection. He's in charge of singing over you. He's in charge of all those things. Those are those are his decisions. So you be blessed today. Be encouraged and um, have a great day in service to our King.